Hey guys, welcome back to another visual effects tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on motion tracking. Motion tracking is really useful, and if I were to stand here and describe all the things you can do with it, it would take forever. But, let's just jump into HitFilm 4 Express, which is the software we're going to be using, if you haven't already read the title. And yeah, okay, so let's go into HitFilm 4 Express, let's go. Okay, in the software, what you want to do is you want to have your footage and spot out a unique, a unique part of it. You know, like a color that stands out, something that kind of just shows out from the rest. The back of my hair is looking kind of dark compared to the white here, so I think that'll be a good tracking spot. So what you want to do is you want to right click on your media, and that's not what you want to do. You want to go up here and it should say tracks in the controls panel and just click on the little plus right here and it presents you with a nice green box green and red now you may be wondering what these green and red boxes are so i will explain the red box is what you're tracking and the green box is where it's going to look for it so um how to position this is you would put the very center um, where you want to track, okay? And you would make it well as big as it has to be, mine maybe a little bit smaller. So this looks like quite a findable bit, I guess. And I only really want to track my head, so I'm going to try and include as little of the background as possible only the white color because that's all that may be shown okay so go through it by pressing track forward and as you can see the green and red boxes have followed it all the way through and that is a good thing so go back into the viewer and you're presented with the normal screen so go on new layer and make a point layer and put the point where you're tracking. Okay, simple and easy. Go back onto your media layer, your original media layer, click on the tracker, go into the track panel and you're presented with the tracker layout again. Now parent it to the point layer by going onto its layer and selecting the point. And then click apply. If you don't click apply, it won't work, alright? Make sure to remember to click apply. I've forgotten many times in the past. Okay, so make sure you've clicked apply. And go back and select your point layer, see if it's worked. And by look things, it has. The point layer is directly following the back of my head. And it's doing a very good job. Let's just cut this down. It's not necessary, but it keeps things nice and tidy. Now you may be wondering, how do I actually put things on to that point? Okay, so we can make a text layer and just write something in it. I don't really know if I can. Um, just write a uh, uh, summon. Okay, can't really see it, so I'm going to make it I don't know, blue, um, I'm wasting too much time here, I'm sorry, um, okay, so we've done that, and let's just put it anywhere, let's put it where we've actually done it, oh, I'm sorry, we can't see it properly, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, it's just, I want you guys to see how it works, okay, so, Click on your text layer or whatever layer you want to be following what you tracked. You just right click on the um, uh, layer section. In fact, no, you, you left click. Sorry, my bad. And just parent it to the point. And it should be following. Yep, yes it is. My head says subscribe. And if we use the preview tool, which you do by pressing the preview tool, 
and then just stopping it and going back and watching it through. Looks like it's done pretty well. Uh, something I might recommend is to apply motion blur to what you've tracked. It's probably not necessary here because it's not moving very fast, but um, it can make a can make a good difference. Yeah, so that is how you motion track. Hopefully you learned something new today. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment on what you want to see in the next video. I love hearing your feedback. But until I make a next video, I will see you next time I make a video.